my life is starting to make a lot more sense. <laughs> Just saying. Um, why my mother was always trying to put me in rehab or get me locked up or, um, you know, in high school when my brother and I would drink and smoke weed and I was the only one that got in trouble or she sent me to rehab, kicked me out of my house, sent me away and always made me feel like a complete piece of shit. Yes, it's because she did it on purpose. Okay, she is not the person that she acts like to all of you. Behind closed doors, to me, she is evil. I don't care who believes me. I need to tell this for myself. All right, because I, when I got sober and when I started to heal and I realized that everybody was telling everyone I was a prostitute and all this SHIT, I'm trying not to curse as much. You guys would be cursing too. But it all makes a lot more sense now. This has been happening to me all my life. I've been through hell and back, and I still came out with a smile because I'm a good person. You all should freaking try it. Stop being cowards. Stand up for yourselves. Stand up for women. I'm going to stand up for myself, and I'm going to stand up for my child, and hopefully I help someone along the way. Yeah, I'm getting mad. All right? I started to write a book because I didn't want my friends that passed to be remembered just as junkies because they were beautiful people and they deserve more than what people don't even want to talk about them. Oh, they, you know, they did drugs. People, the doctors started it. All right. You know, I had one friend that got a, um, a sport injury, oxys. You know, that's how it starts. So stop judging and start helping. This has turned into a lot bigger than I thought, and it's going to be a freaking movie. <laughs> and I'm going to star in it. <laughs> anyway, um, enough, because I said so. Bye.